So today's topic is mumps, measles, and rubella. Mumps, measles, and rubella. Everybody repeat. Mumps, measles. In mumps, the parotid glands are swollen, and there is a mumbling speech. Bow, bow, bow. So. That's why it is called as mumps. It is parotitis. Measles is small, tiny skin lesions. Anybody know? Any you know? Nursery rhymes? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. No. Tell. Open the. Remove the mask. Mm. Tell. Like that, describing measles, one nursery rhyme was that Ringa Ringa roses, pocket full of roses, hasha push, all fell down. It's a small skin rash, skin lesions. Skin exanthemata. And rubella is German measles. Nowadays, you don't see all this mumps, measles, and rubella because we give what is called as MMR vaccine. A 12th month. We give MMR vaccine. We give what? MMR vaccine. MMR vaccine. Mumps. It is a non-separative enlargement of the parotid glands. Mumps is the enlargement, non-separative enlargement of parotid glands. It is a non-separative enlargement of the parotid glands. It was very old infection. Hippocrates described fifth, fifth century BC. Only one serotype, the antigenically stable. One serotype, antigenically stable. One serotype, antigenically stable. One serotype. It is a paramyxovirus. It has got hemagglutinin, neuraminidase, and fusion protein. Go and get dust. Where is the dust? Oh, there. It belongs to paramyxovirus and it has got hemagglutinin. Neuraminidase. And fusion protein. Okay. So, diagram you have to write like this. This is triangular and this is this is N, neuraminidase, this is hemagglutinin. Okay. And inside it's an RNA virus.
so it usually occurs between age group 5 to 15 years it occurs between 5 to 15 years. so there is no extra human reservoir only human soul it has got uh, late incubation period no human carriers or animal reservoirs transmission inhalation direct contact inhalation root of entry is root of entry is inhalation okay inhalation and it can en enter through your conjunctive valves replicate in the respiratory tract and cervical lymph nodes incubation period is Incubation period is 12 to 25 days. Incubation period is 12 to 25 days. So, see the parotid gland. It is unilateral and sometimes bilateral. Parotid swelling. Sometimes unilateral and sometimes bilateral. You don't see pus inside the solan gland. It is that's why it's called as non-superative parotitis. It is non-superative parotitis. No pus. So it also gives rise to Epidemoarchitis, meningitis, meningoencephalitis, arthritis, ophritis, epididymis and testis get infected, meninges get infected, meninges and brain get infected, joints get infected, ovaries get infected, kidney get infected, pancreas get infected, thyroid get infected, myocarditis. So, epidemoarchitis, meningitis, meningoencephalitis, Arthritis, oophritis, nephritis, pancreatitis, thyroiditis, myocarditis. Repeat with me. Epidemoarchitis. Epidemoarchitis. Meningitis. Meningoencephalitis. Arthritis. Oophritis. Nephritis. Pancreatitis. Thyroiditis, myocarditis. One attack gives rise to lifelong enmity. Antibodies response both against internal and surface antigen. Entry antibodies to S antigen early, antibodies to V antigen one month appear. So one attacks use life, lifelong immunity. One attack gives rise to lifelong immunity, both antigen, S antigen, V antigen, antibodies are produced. Specimen, how to diagnose? Saliva, urine and CSF. Saliva, urine, virus isolation from saliva, urine, CSF, HeLa cells. HeLa cells named after the cervical line obtained from Helen Lane, a lady who was suffering from cervical cancer. Human amnion or HeLa cells. Antigen detection by immunofluorescence is useful in early stages. Viral resection by hematsorption and hematsorption inhibition. So, specimens can be ESF, saliva, urine. So, it is uh, grown on human amnion cells or HeLa cells. So, viral growth is detection by immunofluorescence 
and value detection by heme adsorption or heme adsorption inhibition. Heme adsorption inhibition. Isolation can be attempted in chick embryo amniotic cavity, amniotic root and detected by hemagglutination inhibition. Serology is done by paired serum. Either you have to do detect by ELISA. IgM or PCR, RT-PCR, reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR diagnosis. Vaccine is available, it's a live attenuated gerilin strain. Live attenuated vaccine gerilin live attenuated vaccine gerilin strain. Recommended use only after one year of the age since maternal antibodies will interfere. It's usually given after one year. Single subcutaneous infection, it is combined with the MMR, mumps, mumps, measles and rubella. It is combined with MMR, mumps, measles and rubella. Mumps, measles, rubella. So repeat with me. Live attenuated vaccine prepared from Jerry Lynn strain recommended after one year of age. Before one year, maternal antibodies will interfere. Before one year, it is not given because maternal antibody will interfere. Single subcutaneous Injection is indicated along with everybody. Single subcutaneous injection is in indicated along with mumps, measles, and rubella. Mumps, measles, and rubella. Next is measles. It's also called as uh, moribili virus. Everybody, it's also called as moribili virus. It's a old disease, ancient disease. It's also called as rubiola. 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 Roughly spherical and nucleocapsid surrounded by lipoprotein. Only hemagglutinin spikes are present. So it is roughly spherical. Only hemagglutinin are present. No neuraminidase. Grows well on human amnion monkey kidney cells. Human amnion and monkey kidney cells. Grows well on human amnion and monkey kidney cells. So it is detected in tissue culture by multinucleated syncytial formation, numerous acetophilic neuro nuclear and cytoplasmic inclusion bodies. So multinucleated giant cells are called as 
ഓർദിൻ ഫിക്കൽ ഡേ സെൽസ് ഓർദിൻ ഫിക്കൽ ഡേ സെൽസ് ഫൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ദ ലിംഫോയ്ഡ് ടിഷ്യൂസ് ഫൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ദ ലിംഫോയ്ഡ് ഓർദിൻ ഓർദിൻ ഫിക്കൽ ഡേ സെൽസ് ഓർദിൻ ഫിക്കൽ ഡേ സെൽസ് ജോയിൻറ്റ് സെൽസ് so everybody repeat with me grows well in human human or monkey kidney cells human kidney cells or monkey kidney cells and human amnion human amnion cytopathic effect cp stands for cytopathic effect cytopathic multi nucleated syncytial formation multi nucleated syncytial formation with numerous acidophilic nuclear and cytoplasmic inclusion multi multi nucleated gels named as war everybody war then fecal day cells they are found in the lymphoid tissues they enter through the inhalation or conjunctiva multiplies in the locally in the lymph nodes spreads through endothelial and then endothelial system through blood vessels epithelial surface incubation period is 9 to 11 days fever cough coryza conjunctivitis photophobia two days prior to rash mucous membrane there is appearance of complex spots this is very important complex spots incubation period is 9 to 11 days everybody repeat with me incubation period is defined as entry of microorganisms and development of clinical signs and symptoms that is called incubation period incubation period is 9 to 11 days everybody incubation period is high fever cough coryza conjunctivitis photophobia two days prior to rash in the inside the mucous membrane you see coplic spots coplic spots coplic spots these are coplic spots what are coplic spots small bluish white ulceration on the buccal mucosa opposite lower molar contains giant cells cytoplasmic and intranuclear inclusion and virion components what are coplic spots everybody coplic spots small bluish white ulceration small bluish white ulceration on the buccal mucosa opposite the lower molar contains giant cells cytoplasmic and intranuclear inclusions and virion components okay the clinical manifestations everybody maculo papular rash maculo maculo papular rash maculo papular rash first on the forehead hold like this first on the forehead then spreads downward then disappears in 3 to 6 days disappears in 3 to 6 days everybody maculo papular rash appears on the forehead appears on the forehead here then spreads down disappears in 3 to 6 days it can give rise to pneumonia pneumonia is infection of the lung bacterial infection of the patient with measles pneumonia and otitis media most serious is meningoencephalitis it also gives rise to ssp subacute sclerosing 
encephalitis. It gives rise to pneumonia, pneumonia, otitis media, otitis media, meningoencephalitis, and SSP. SSP stands for subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. SSP stands for subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. So, labral diagnosis, you can see the multinucleated giant cells, Gimsa stain smear in the nasal reaction. Detection of measles antigen in the respiratory section, urine, blood and brain tissue by immunofluorescence, viral isolation, human kidney cells, monkey kidney cells and human amnion cells. Labral diagnosis, multinucleated giant cells in the everybody, microscopy, direct microscopy, Everybody, microscope, multinucleated giant cells, stained with genes, genes. Detection of measles antigen in the respiratory secretion, urine, blood, and brain tissue. Immunofluorescence, viral isolation. Human or monkey kidney cells and human amnion. Reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, molecular diagnosis. Serology fourfold rise the titer of measles specific antibodies between sera and uh, obtained during the acute stage of the and convalescent stage. Prophylaxis. If you give immunoglobulins in the immuno patient, immunodeficient or if the lady develops, pregnant lady develops uh, measles. Active immunization, live attenuated vaccine, live attenuated vaccine, Edmonston sauce, moratin stain, everybody, Edmonston squads, moratin stain, Edmonston Jagarab stain, single subcutaneous injection along with MMR vaccine, usually given after one year, single dose, MMR vaccine, rubella. It is called German measles, rubella is also called as German measles. It is called German basis. It is a mild exanthematous fever characterized by transient macular rash and lymphadenopathy. Macular rash. With lymphadenopathy. Macular rash with lymphadenopathy. Rubella in pregnancy leads to congenital rubella syndrome, CRS, congenital rubella syndrome. It gives rise to cataract, deafness and cardiac defect. How do you remember this? You draw the diagram. This is cataract. Deafness and defect in the
हार्ट वॉल पेंडेंट शोइंग हार्ट यू कैन मेक गर्ल आल्स What Ganga sir? Hmm? You'll remember, no? CRS, congenital rubella syndrome. Cataract, chasma. Cataract, deafness, and cardiac defect. Cataract, cataract, deafness, congenital. I mean, cardiac defects. So all the women who are pregnant are screened for this torch, toxoplasma, rubella, herpes. Screened for torch. Okay. So this is the virus structure. No hemoglobin, neuron, no hemorrhage, coiled up RNA. Okay. So. That is the structure of rubella virus. It's pleomorphic, changes shape. It is spherical, 50 to 70 nanometer in diameter with single strand RNA. Envelope carrying hemagglutinin peplomus. Oh, it has hemagglutinin peplomus. Peplomus. Agglutinate goose. And human and one day old chicken are pieces. Human goose chicken are pieces. Human goose and chicken are pieces at four degrees centigrade. Classified under Toga viridae, only one member of genus Rubivirus. Toga viridae. Virus is attenuated by inactivated by e ether, chloroform, formaldehyde, beta propylactone, and deoxycholate. Destroyed at 56 degrees, survival several degrees at minus 60 degrees. Resistance of this virus. The route of infection is inhalation. Incubation period is 2 to 3 weeks. Affects children. It gives rise to Generalized lash. First on face, spreads to the neck, trunk, extremities, sparing the palms and soles. Rash first appears on the face, spreads to the neck, trunk, extremities, sparing palms and soles. So, rash is discrete, disappears. Third day, non tender enlargement of Posterior cervical lymph node, complex spots are absent. Complex spots are present in measles. It is absent in rubella. In pregnancy, isolation is not commonly used for diagnosis. May be isolated from blood and throat swabs, rabbit kidney and viral cells. Serology used routinely. Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay, IgM, IgG antibodies, detected IgM. Alone with that IgG, current infection, IgG alone with IgM, past infection or vaccination. Past infection or vaccination. Cultivation and host strain. Grows in primary and continuous cell line like kidney, like rabbit kidney, baby hamster, and kidney. Cytopathic seen in certain cell lines, identified by interference. Congenital rubella, demonstration of IgM. In newborn fetus, in paired serum. Demonstration of IgM in newborn or fetus, paired serum from mother and child to demonstrate IgG. Rubella infection confirms life loss, 
lasting immunity because one there is only one antigenic type live attenuated vaccine is used for combined with mmr vaccine vaccine is contraindicated in hiv patient immunodeficient in pregnancy hiv in pregnancy HIV and pregnancy. Vaccination is contraindicated in pregnancy and HIV. So, when you have next class, Monday, Monday 4 to 5. So, better thing to do is answer your uh, question paper. It's better, I think, because it's good uh, to answer your question paper. Then you will be able to get writing practice instead of doing like this. So, question papers are quite tricky, something, some corner they will ask. Okay, thank you very much.